The roosters wake at midnight. They rise through my dreams, now left in tatters. They call to one another like a game of air telephone. It's a contest of who can call the loudest. Someone walks on the other side of my ceiling. Bamboo creaking, footsteps trying to be silent but failing. My mind is trying to stay silent but failing. But this is sacred land, I remind myself. In this barren landscape, we grow our own crops, feed our guests, tend to the soil, and watch the sun set over and over again from the top of the water tower. Paradise is a lot more restless than I thought it would be. There are secret hideouts, though, these pockets of solitude where I go to, to just be myself, to talk to no one in particular. I just like hearing the sound of my own voice. What can I say? There's a cat named Colin. She is my only witness during late nights when my mind is slipping from my body. When my words carry me further away from where I'm sitting, the bar stool keeps me locked in. The alcohol keeps me talking. We just stare at each other, Colin and I, the moonlight reflected in her eyes, and the days left on mine. 